What's happening there guys and welcome back to another video on our channel. Grant Cardone is perhaps one of the most successful businessmen and authors around. Recently, he's made news after buying a crazy expensive mansion in Malibu and today we'll be taking a look inside Grant Cardone's $80 million Malibu mansion. Number 5. Grant Cardone's Crazy Malibu Mansion Grant Cardone is known for being, as we said, a businessman. He's a real estate investor to be precise and a very good one at that. He's also a reality TV star and a best-selling author. From everything that he's accomplished, the man has accumulated a wealth of no less than $600 million and with this much money, he's recently bought a crazy expensive Malibu mansion that was owned by another business tycoon before him. The mansion that we're talking about is so glamorous that even Cardone doesn't believe he bought it. I think I stole this house, he said. The property that Cardone bought, along with the Enclave's famed Carbon Beach, was recently listed at a price of around $50 to $80 million. Cardone also paid the same amount of money for it, of course. Not too long ago, the real deal reported that the property had gone into contract, but at that time, the buyer was unknown. Still, Cardone is its proud new owner. Number 4. The Inside of the Mansion Cardone's Malibu Mansion is located somewhere at the far eastern side of Malibu's Carbon Beach. You might have heard of this area before. It's the same luxurious strip of sand where the likes of Larry Ellison, Michael Milken and Jeffrey Katzenberg resided. And now, it's also where the ginormous mansion of Cardone is located. The property stretches over a land of 9,500 square feet and spreads across two whole floors. The mansion has apparently been inspired by the design of Cape Cod. Sure, some people might think that such a design is out of date, but Cardone's mansion pulls it off just fine, or more than fine if we're completely being honest. From inside the place, you get to see the beautiful views of the ocean from all angles. Not only that, the mansion also boasts hardwood floors, a private movie theater with captain seats upholstered in fine blue leather, as well as a primary bathroom with marble anywhere you lay your eyes on. Number 3. What else does the mansion have? If we haven't made it clear already, Cardone's mansion takes up so much land that it's almost unbelievable for a house to be sitting on. Like, the place spans over half an acre of land, dude. That's pretty unheard of by even mansion standards. Still, just because the living area is spacious doesn't mean that it's well worth living in. That's certainly not the case with Cardone's mansion though. If there's any mansion in Malibu that's worth paying so much for and living in, then it's his. The mansion is also somewhat unusual when it comes to oceanfront Malibu houses. What we mean by that is that the property also boasts a fabulous swimming pool, which is like a lap lane pool hovering right over the crashing waves and a beautiful lawn. The house also has six bedrooms, which is also pretty decent by mansion standards. It was built back in 2005 and was owned by a Ukrainian oligarch by the name of Vadim Shalman at one point as well, who also bought it for millions of bucks before selling it at an even higher price to Cardone. Before we continue on with this video, do be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you're enjoying the video. Also, don't forget to press that bell icon so you don't miss out on any more of our upcoming content in the future. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Number 2. What does Cardone think about this mansion? Buying a house is something that Cardone has always advised his followers against, so naturally, him buying a house himself raised a lot of questions as well as criticism, which is something that the businessman acknowledged and gave a response to as well. According to Cardone, he stands by his opinion, for the most part at least. Yes, he thinks that renting is better than buying, but when it comes to such good deals as the one Cardone claims to have gotten, he says that one must know when to play and not play by the rules. And well, buying a house or a mansion in this case was Cardone's way of also conveying his message. Number 1. What other properties does Cardone own? This recent purchase made by Cardone is not all that remarkable when it comes to him. Sure, to the normal person, buying such a great mansion would be nothing but a dream, but for Cardone, the property is simply a new addition to his real estate portfolio. In an interview with TRD, Cardone explained how real estate is his one true passion when it comes to business. He also revealed that he has purchased over $4 billion worth of very exclusive real estate over the years, so $80 million in front of that is, well, not all that much, honestly. For what we've heard, 
Cardone's portfolio also includes a 346-unit multifamily community in Delray Beach, Florida, as well as a 501-unit building in Sunrise, which is another posh area in Florida. He even has an office complex in the same area. Needless to say, when it comes to real estate, Cardone has pretty deep pockets from what we can see for ourselves. And with that, this video comes to a close.